Thanks for staying. It's time for business and rice farmers in the Volta region who in the past complained about investing much of their resources in rice farming without good returns can now heave a sigh of relief as they continue to experience bumper harvest every now and then. But unavailability of ready market for their produce is beginning to have a negative effect on their businesses. Rice farmers, particularly the peasant farmers in the region, previously lacked the needed technical knowledge in the production of paddy rice and this deficiency never helped to prevent post-harvest losses. Rice farmers invest heavily on the rice farms, but yield was not encouraging. This therefore dragged many farmers into bankruptcy, which led to a drastic reduction in rice growing for some time back. Agriculture-oriented NGOs like a Sugakofe-based agribusiness development and training organization, FYSSO Ghana, over the years decided to periodically take rice farmers in the region through rice production skills regarding the use of suitable seedlings at which period or all year round as well as how to develop and maintain their rice fields to ensure good harvest. Under the IFDC2 skill project, smallholder rice farmers are able to come up with savings and loans association to help themselves financially. So far, 2,500 farmers have benefited from such training, hence the bumper harvest yet no ready market for their produce even though we spotted some at the whole market and at shops. The farmers were happy about their harvest. We were just doing any variety of rice. We were not, we didn't go to the market to ask of the actual variety that they need. But when the two scale project came, it's like they've trained us to do seed. We have the just means that uh, the market is demanding now. We have the seed now. So it's like the farmers can now buy the seed and produce quality rice. The executive director of FYSSO Ghana, Julius K. Ameku, who shared his thought regarding rice production in Ghana, suggested that government could assist farmers in the rice growing industry. It would rather develop the small, small irrigation schemes, give to the local people, let the PP take over, PPP take over, to ensure that production is sustained because the market will be created for us to distribute. Then we have finished. When we do this very well, I can assure you, we should never import any rice to Ghana. Divine Bo is the National Agribusiness Cluster Advisor to the IFDC2 Scale Project. He explained why the need to support rice farmers. There is need for further development of new uh, milling facilities in the uh, region to be able to offload the increased volume of rice that is being uh, produced uh, in the in the region, thereby to encourage the farmers to invest more uh, in, in in production. Let's look at some more business stories. And the Environmental Protection Agency says it has stepped up its activities to halt the increasing degradation of natural vegetation and water bodies. Ashanti Regional Director of EPA Samuel Oting believes sustained public education, monitoring and enforcement of appropriate regulations will help safeguard the environment. In Ghana, Forests and water bodies are increasingly being destroyed by illegal miners, farming and pollution. But the Environmental Protection Agency says it is determined to ensure Ghanaians desist from practices that destroy the environment. Ashanti Regional Director of the agency, Samuel Oting, reiterated the determination to commit industries to put in place appropriate measures to identify, control and monitor any activity that tends to hurt the ecology. The environmental protection agency don't just give the permit. We do what we call environmental monitoring. Monitoring to make sure that when the permits are given, they are given based on certain conditions to make sure that those conditions are met as part of our education and also as part of the environmental impact assessment implementation of administration. We make sure that we factor all these things into the development discourse said so that we don't run into problems in future. He said mining and other companies which emit harmful gases would have to be mindful of the effect on people living within and around the operational areas. The Water Resource Commission have a buffer zone policy which say that between 30 to uh, 
50 meters, there shouldn't be any farming or any development activities there. And I think that we want to encourage everybody to resort to that. He also cautioned against indiscriminate littering and other practices that cause flooding and pollute the environment.